come down to Greenlee Beach um, and we're coming to check out the rock pools. It was a bit of a rough track coming in. It was a bit bumpy, but certainly wasn't the worst we've ever done. It was manageable with the gar caravan on and we had full pressure in the tyres. So There we go, Matching. there's the beach down there. And you can see the ladders down here. And I think Kate's just contemplating whether she's going to do it or not. So we made it down to Alliston yesterday Arvo, um, stopped up at the Alliston Caravan Park. It's a basic little caravan park, but it has everything we need, hey? There's yeah. even a pool for the kids. And a jumping pillow. And a little jumping pillow. Yep. That's pretty cool. We camped straight across from it, so that's really nice. It makes it um, easy and convenient. <laughs> super relaxed there too, super yeah. friendly. Definitely. Really awesome little spot. We yeah. even got to wash the van and the car, have yeah. a bit of a quick yeah. scrub. Don't mind if you give your car and your van a clean there on the grass, so awesome. Yeah. So today we've headed out, um, we're doing the sculpture trail at the moment, which is a cliff drive um, across sort of heading north of Alliston. Um, Alliston Cliff Top Drive, it's called, if you see it on the map. And it's going to take us along sort of the edge of the ocean, so a nice ocean drive. Um, we're also going to head up to Talia Caves today and the Woolshed Cave um, and just see what else we find along the way. Yeah, just general exploring. Yeah, maybe Murphy's Haystacks as well. So let's do it! Pretty cool shoreline, isn't it? Just looks absolutely beautiful. Nice clear water smashing up against the rocks. Reminds us of like the Great Australian Bight and things like that. It's sort of just no beach, no nothing, just waves on rocks. Very, very cool. So we're at um, Talia Caves now, so we're going to go down and check out the wool shed um, and then we'll probably walk around the coastline here where they've got the little plunge pools, little figure of eight plunge pools. Um, so go check that out as well. 
So the car park is at the top here and there's stairs that sort of go down to the caves and you can suss them out. Um, so we're just going to work out where we find all these and check it all out. Looks pretty amazing just from up here. I think it's going to be quite beautiful. Looks specky. Those look good, hey? Really cool. Have a look. Looks really cool. really cool in here um, it's sort of the cave goes right in you can sort of follow it right down to the back the ground's pretty slippery though so you've got to be super careful um, but yeah it's really cool this is certainly millions and millions of years of this dirt this water coming in and out and in and out it's awesome checked out the wool shed and now we're going to go find the rock pools so just when you come down the stairs you go right instead of going left you go left round to the um, wool shed cave so you head right around this way and apparently walk around the tip here and then hunt for the rock pools in the rock so that's our mission now we're off to find it this first tip and it's opened up a little bit so it looks like there's lots of rock sort of big flat rock areas here that we can have a little squizzy at we found one it's really cool there's a uh... Lots of little fish and things like that in there, and there's shadows of us, hello. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's like its own little fish bowl, pretty much. They're scattered all the way around here. I think we may have missed the iron on some of it. It's pretty cool. Apparently, there's one over there. Under that water. <laughs> Under that water. So you need to make sure you're coming in on low tide. I don't think the kids are going to jump in this little one here well, anyway. They better hurry up if they are.
the top after we checked out the little plunge pools. A little bit too high tide at the moment. Kind of approaching high tide, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, I think it's time, gotta be. But I'm not sure what time high tide is today, but we must be getting close, so. Yeah. Check it out, I think you're better off coming right on the low tide. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's still nice to jump in, have a bit of a splash. Water's a bit chilly, but it's not unswimmable. It's no. really nice. That was all right. Good and refreshing. Great spot. You could definitely hang out here. If you came at low tide, you could definitely sit out and hang out at those rock pools for like yeah. all morning or afternoon or whatever. So beautiful spot. Really good. And with that cave where we went in, just got to be careful because it is uh, a little bit slippery yeah, in there. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. Got to look we're, out. We're doubly saying it. Uh -huh. Don't <laughs> slip over because you'll fall in and it'll hurt yourself. Yeah. So yeah. Right. Next spot. Let's go. Carry on. So they're at this place called The Tub. I don't know where they got that idea from, but big open tub looking thing. Um, on high tides, the water comes in underneath and actually fills up with a bit of water. So we're lucky because the tide's slightly coming in, but we can go down the other side and check it out and see where the entrance is. So give that a bit of an explore. That's where the entrance is. And I ain't going in there. Nice little rock pool, eh? I think Ethan's gonna do a bombie in it. So we're on our way back from uh, Talia Caves, back to, um, what's it called, Elliston? Back to Elliston. Elliston, yeah. I'll get it right eventually. <laughs> um, and there's this cute little cafe, uh, no cafe, little bread box on the side of the road. Um, they, it's got it marked and you come in and they've got fresh wood fired loaves of bread. And it's just an honesty system. So yeah, pretty much just open up. We've got sticky fruit buns, yummo, the white top, uh, loaves are sold out and we just got the last of the multigrain so really good look at that yum fresh that delicious and it's just an stone honesty baked, box stone baked bread so bring cash we didn't bring cash so we got 50 bucks worth of bread <laughs> so it's called the Colton Bakehouse very cool just on the side of the road Delicious. Good. What mm -hmm. do you reckon, kids? Are they alright? Yeah, I'm good. That good. That's good thing we bought about six packets of them. Mm. Yum, that's really good. We'll freeze them up if they even hit the freezer. I don't think we will. I don't that's think the they'll make the freezer. Already. Oh. <laughs> good stuff. Anyway, local fresh baked. Get into it. This is where we were going to stay at Walker's Rocks. Um, it's a campground not far north of Elliston, and this is the beach here um, at the campground. So it's fairly basic behind us, there's toilets um, and it looks like it's kind of like park wherever you like. Yeah. On this sort of rocky dirt stuff. She could train a little beach. Yeah, beautiful beach. Yeah. Now yeah, we'll go for a bit of a swim, yeah, get in the water. Say, hot today. All right, so we have left Elliston. And we're traveling up to Palubi Beach today. So we've been sort of keeping a bit of an eye on the area and what's around and it seems like everyone's going to Palubi Beach. Yeah. So it could be interesting. We're sort of going a bit earlier because of the tides, I think, but um, it looks like they're getting some high tides in there. And, yeah. And it's, uh, it's midweek now, so it's probably best to go there. Before well, the that's crowds. our theory yeah. is to go midweek when maybe there's not as many people coming for the weekend, but I don't know, with so many people traveling like yes. full time at the moment, I don't really think it makes too much of a difference, but you know, we can try. <laughs> that's it, so just been through Streaky, got a few supplies. 
flies and things like that. Yep. And they're heading out yep. there, probably thinking we're staying there for about a week actually. So yeah, I think it's going to be about a week. Should be good. So we'll probably we'll end up back at Streaky Bay, so we'll do a bit more on that when we go back there to stock up and what have you. Um, so yeah, we'll just head down here, stay for the week and find what we can, what we'd like to do in the area. Mm. Sounds good. Not the great weather today, but hey. No, it's just started raining, so. Hopefully it gets better. We shall see. So we made it out to Paluby Beach, all good. Um, really quite an awesome beach uh, for what, not what you'd think though. Not for the beach as much. Well, the beach more is the, lovely. It's more the social aspect. The, yeah, just, the atmosphere is awesome. There's people Especially everywhere, the there's kids everywhere. It's really good um, if you do have kids and if you don't, well, you're just gonna have to put up with a lot of kids. If you like kids, <laughs> it's a good spot. Yeah, <laughs> but um, no, nah, it's really awesome. Um, as you can see, it is a bit packed. There's probably, what, maybe 40 vans here? Yeah, probably at least, yeah. Um, I mean, it's a big beach, so it's not too bad. Um, and there's just different uh, size parts of the beach. So like, we're walking up towards these shacks now, and um, the beach is a lot wider, so you can fit more things in. So the water's coming up about here at night. So if you're anywhere, it comes up to at least the shack yeah. at that time. So if you're anywhere down here, or you're sort of going to get wet yeah. at high tide. So we really got to just pick your tides and make sure you get the right spot. Yeah. Most of this first part of the beach is all right. Once it starts to turn around the bay there, it gets quite narrow. So if you're parked up there, you have to push your van right up into the dune as far as you can. But it's, and it's not super much soft. space. Yeah. yeah, it's quite soft. Anyway. But anyway, cool spot. Great for hanging out with others. It's Rafe's birthday today, so it's great for him. He's partying all day long, so mm. awesome. Cool spot. Check Definitely it out. recommend it. It's been recommended a million times by everyone who's been here, but yeah. we'd have to say we agree. Yeah, definitely it awesome. worth it. Yeah. Come check it out. Right, so one of the things that some people forget about when you're traveling full time is obviously there's everyday things well, that we do like birthdays and things like that. So we've got to come up with ways of making sure we do the right thing for birthdays for our kids and things like that. So when you're on the road, uh, we try and make sure we're planning ahead. So obviously we knew we were going to be, we're at Paluby Beach at the moment for Ray's birthday and he's seven years old and here he is. Look at that. Happy birthday, buddy. So we make sure that we've stocked up with just little things for the kids, balloons, things like that. Asta's really helpful. She helps with, with like decorations. She does stuff like that. Um, and yeah, and just making sure that obviously we uh, get all our stuff delivered to certain addresses and things like that. So we've got to make sure we've got post office setups uh, so we can get uh, family and things like that would want to send us um, things for his birthday. So we've got to make sure we do that. Don't we? Otherwise, it will be a very boring birthday for children if they don't get presents. So yeah. we just need to make it a little bit more special by having some little decorations in the van. Can't have a big party, but be on Paluby Beach at the moment. There are so many kids. Mm. You're gonna be partying all day long, aren't you? It's a party, not a birthday. It's everything. It's a every day is party. A, every day is a party <laughs> at the moment because we've got so many families here. Um, the kids have found so many friends. It's just a great place. So it's so good 
to have like teed this up. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, if you're traveling, you could be on the side of a road or something, which isn't going to be very exciting. So we sort of make sure you'll try and plan it a bit. So yeah, you don't disappoint them pretty much. So anyway, so today's race birthday and yeah, we're going to have pancakes for breakfast and then we're going to go out fishing today and play on the beach and then have pizzas for dinner, homemade pizzas. Wow. Ice cream and cake. Ice cream and cake. I don't so. have any ice cream darling. <laughs> no, but not ice cream. Does. Oh, exactly. yeah, we've got some. All right, so plan ahead, especially for special occasions, birthdays, wedding anniversaries, Valentine's Days, things like that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> let's have a birthday. Let's celebrate. Happy birthday, Ray. All right, so Rafey's opted to help me make his birthday cake today for his birthday. So we're in here just whipping up. Um, a quick chocolate mud cake. We've decided to take it pretty easy this year and I've just grabbed a box cake which we'll make up and pop into the um, Weber to be cooked and then we're going to decorate it on top with some nice summer race favourite chocolate bars and things. So here's my little helper in the kitchen mixing up his cake at the moment. It's looking good. <laughs> and um, we're going to do it in a long pan like this just like a baking tray we've probably got about 14 children on the beach here I think they're going to be lining up um, to get themselves a piece of chocolate cake this afternoon so we will whip that up get it cooking in the barbie and let Rafi have a lovely chocolate cake on his special day Big should be good It's your birthday. Taste. What about the cameraman? Uh... <laughs> All right, so that's ready to go in the Weber now. So we'll try and keep it around 180 to 160. <laughs> Depending if it's a fan forced Weber or a convection Weber. <laughs> It'll go in and cook it for as long as it takes, really. The boxes aren't true when it comes to cooking on the Weber, so we'll just cook it until it's ready to take off. And then we can decorate. Mm Well, Mum, that's a good size. Hey, Rafi, you want to have a look? Right, so I've had a look around in the town at Streaky Bay. Now we're just going to do a bit of a drive around. So we're on the um, Cape Bower Loop um, that just goes around the back end of Streaky Bay. Uh -huh. So we're on our way back from Talia Caves back to Elliston um, and we've pulled alongside, there's got these, uh... start again without that lens. Um, Rafi's birthday, we're also going to have pancakes for, 
for breakfast. Wow, it's yeah, like an yeah, echo in here. Yeah. <laughs>